shipped into the U.S. under tariffs, similar to other countries. The agreement also means no more yearly evaluations of trade with China. The communist country agreed to open up its markets after being accepted into the World Trade Organization. Computer giant Microsoft says that it's targeting Atlanta to stop counterfeit operations. The company says that Qualstar Computer, Streamline Data Systems, and Tierra Computer all distributed illegally copied software. Microsoft sent warnings to the companies, but after no changes were made, they filed charges. You can look for a couple of simple things to determine if software that you buy is bootlegged. If the price seems to be bulky, <laughs> but now you can have access to the World Wide Web in the palm of your hand. Well, still, we've all been tied to some type of keyboard to send and receive an email. Well, that changed today. Tonight, Clear News reporter Cynthia Bell shows us how you can receive email even without access to your computer. Cynthia, good evening. Good evening, Calvin. You can call a toll-free 800 number and a computer reads you your email. Yahoo decided to take the jump because 300 million of us use the internet, but more than a billion of us use the phone. Well, we put the technology to the test for you. I check it every, every day during the day, and even when I can't check, I feel like I get uh, email withdrawals. Now Glenn Walker has a new way to check email without a computer. As a Yahoo user, he can dial an 800 number and hear computer read notes from friends and co-workers. Original message from Cynthia Nailer. Hearing the technology for the first time, Joe Crable is a little skeptical. I thought it'd be a little bit clearer, I guess. I mean, you really gotta concentrate to understand exactly what the message means. <laughs> Listen for yourself with our test message. Can you hear this and not understand this clearly? But with email becoming almost essential in work and play, the ability to check it without a computer is a great convenience. You've got to have an electronic account in order to you know, receive any kind of mail as far as uh, friends or family. And even you know, with your resume or any kind of businesses, even you need to have an you know, email account. And especially if you're going to be in your car for a long time, if you're on a trip or if you're stuck in traffic, like any other kind of technology, it'll improve over time and you know, certainly the more efficient that it is, you know, the easier it's going to be to use. Sanjeev Azudaban uses a laptop to log in for now. He and others at this coffee spot think about future advances in technology. Everything hooked up to the internet eventually is going to be the future. A robot would be a good idea. I'd like to see an affordable way to uh, use my cell phone in an airplane. I don't love technology. I think it's taking away some of our socialization. Yahoo's 800 number also gives you the latest news and weather and lets you set up a voicemail account. You can find a link to it on our website, www.wgcltv.com. Now, Earthling says they have similar technology in the works, ready for launch in a few months, and America Online offers similar phone email links, but only through certain cellular phone companies. Calvin. More conveyance at our fingertips. All right, thanks a lot, Cynthia. To help you understand how significant today's developments are, consider this. The World Wide Web began in March of 1989. A European researcher proposed the project as a means to better communicate ideas among members of the far-flung organization. Have you checked your favorite store lately?